Hi, my name is Bernd Ott. I'm the developer of the MIDI to Artnet converter. Today I like to show you how to set up Bomark together with MA Lightning.2. Make sure that you're using at least version 1.3 and you have also assigned an Artnet IP address to your network adapter. Make sure that any session is started. If no session is running, just start a new session like so. Start a new project by clicking File and New. If everything is correct, you should see here the dot .2 session. If not, you need to enable Artnet in Setup first. Enable Artnet, just hit Setup, Network Protocols, click in front of the symbol to turn it on. Choose it, hit OK, add your favorite MIDI device, in my case the Tractor Control F1, enter the learn mode by right clicking learn, and now move the faders and buttons you want to use together with Bomark and Dot2. Bomark assigns DMX channels in order after each push on your MIDI device. In this sample, channel 1 2.12. Leave the learn mode by right click and disable learn. When everything is correctly set up, you should see in the DMX input in universe 9 incoming values when you're moving the faders or when you're moving the buttons. Now set up the remote input. Make sure you see a green symbol in front of DMX. So we just learned the three faders and the six buttons below the faders. We also learned the four additional buttons for the executor buttons. Choose executor. Assign the buttons, the remotes, to the correct executor numbers. By the way, you can see the executor numbers by pushing the MR button and by clicking Virtual Playback. Above the faders and buttons, you see the correct numbers. In front of each row, you see the DMX channel number. These numbers have been automatically assigned in Bomark. You can adjust them in Bomark if needed. Assign the type, button 1 is fine in this case, and button 2. Executor buttons only have one choice. To test the setup, just hit the buttons, see if a green light is appearing in front of what you want to click. and everything works fine. I've prepared a small demo show to let us take a look at the response time to see how fast the console reacts on the inputs. So I have assigned two group masters here as you can see I'm moving the faders and I get instant feedback from the console You can download Bomark on my homepage. There's a free version which can handle up to 14 MIDI events. There's also a support board if you need help. By the way, I used version 1.6 for making this video. Thank you for watching this video. Bye bye.